Welcome to the next part of this exercise. So let's carry on, and begin placing this new custom connection across the structure. Or in this particular case, on the opposite side of the currently available frame. Let's for example begin by placing the custom connection we just created. And once in this new panel, or the connection template explorer, let's carry on, and look for the corresponding connection. And with this now selected, let's continue by simply following the prompt we previously configured, and selecting the structural elements used for placing the connection. Or in this case, the column and the top and bottom cords of the truss. Here we have our custom connection now in place. And for which as you can see, all the corresponding cuts have also been performed.